think I can finally take home the prize for the most insanely complex Excel donut chart of all time. I just want to show you how you can add the GIFs in like this. So insert tab, and then you're going to go to pictures, over cells, and place over cells. And then you're going to go to a online picture. It's going to pop up a little box on the right. And then in here, you just search for it. You want to just search like GIF neon, I think, or something like that. And that's how I got the one here. So you got your GIF, but fitting it into a design can be a little tricky, particularly if it doesn't have a transparent background. And this is where things get kind of cool. So a few things. The first important one is that under the picture format tab, there is a crop option. And you have to click the drop down. A lot of people don't even know there is a drop down. And go to crop to shape. I'm gonna select a circle as the shape I crop to, and it's gonna fit it into the circle. If I wanna edit it and resize it, I can just hit crop again, and I get this window for placing it right where I want it inside of that circle. And now it's really just like fine tuning it. So like maybe I wanna give this some effects or dial it in. I'm gonna click into the image, go to the menu way over here on the right. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make the picture a little transparent. That's one of the options, not too transparent, just a little bit. That's going to help with what we're doing. I'm also going to recolor the image. There's an option here to recolor the image. You can do different options. It's going to be under the picture color drop down. Test those out. Obviously, I'm going to do mine blue so it matches a little better. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is under this menu here, I'm going to go to soft edges. And I'm going to use this to kind of crop out that portion in the background that's black. And so we're going to go to soft edges and I'm going to put this at like 100. And see how it's kind of trimmed everything in like that so that it's just the shape I want itself. Then when I drop that shape in, it fits much better into the design, just much, much easier to use now. So all these little tricks for dialing in GIFs or really any pictures can be really helpful if you're trying to integrate imagery into your charts. If you want to know more about the glowy neon effects and all that, a bunch of videos I've just posted right before this one go into all of this. So I show you the whole process if you want to learn more. All right, that's all for now, folks. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Bye.